This private hospital in South Gloucestershire was meant to be a caring environment where vulnerable adults with very severe learning difficulties would get the care and attention that they needed. Uh, the reality, as exposed by that BBC Panorama investigation, was anything but. Uh, Panorama TV reporter Joe Casey went undercover, he filmed covertly, and what he secretly recorded was this shocking catalogue of abuse and neglect. And we can see uh, those images now. At the end result, this case, 11 defendants, eight men and three women, all employees of Winterbourne View. Between them, they admitted a total of 38 charges of abuse and neglect. The public gallery inside Court 7 today packed with the family and friends of those victims as sentencing was passed. And in his sentencing remarks, Mr Justice Ford told the court that they had created a culture of cruelty and he said there was a scandalous lack of regard for residents and he went on to say without the panorama program the systemic abuse of people would have continued and he said there was no attempt to provide a caring environment at Winterbourne View and he said that in passing the jail terms that he handed down today six of the 11 have now been imprisoned he said he hoped the families of the victims would find some closure and peace Wayne Rogers was described as the ringleader in court. He was seen slapping, verbally abusing and threatening patients. He pleaded guilty to nine charges of ill treatment and was jailed for two years. Alison Dove admitted seven charges and was jailed for 20 months. She was heard saying that one of the residents loved pain. Dove was seen pouring water over the patient, threatening her and squirting shower gel in her face. The court also saw footage of uh, Graham Doyle manhandling the same patient. He covered Simone Blake with a sheet as another carer pinned her to the floor with a chair. He slapped her over the head with his gloves and poured water over the patient before claiming she'd wet herself. He admitted seven counts of ill treatment and was given 20 months. Michael Ezan Agu, who forced paracetamol into Miss Blake's mouth during one of the incidents, admitted two counts of ill treatment. His six-month jail, uh, jail term rather, was suspended for two years and he's been ordered to carry out 200 hours of unpaid work. And Jason Gardner was given four months, suspended for two years after admitting two charges of ill treatment. He spoke outside the court after being ordered to complete 200 hours of unpaid work. At the time, it was a misguided trying to do the right, to, trying to do right in my case, and I ended up doing wrong. And I would apologise for that. I've apologised all the way through, and I take full responsibility for everything I've done. Did you feel that that was the culture, and that's what you had to do? Then? It was a very difficult place to work, a tough place to work, and I, 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 I cannot speak for others. It's not fair for me to do that, but it was, um, it was just a very, very difficult place to work. Understaffed, high pressure, 12 hour days, no breaks. There's still no excuses for what no, you did. But there are no excuses for what anybody did. And as today has happened, um, all I can do is apologise to everybody for what happened. And I really have never, ever meant any harm to anyone. And that is heartfelt. And I hope that the people can move on with their lives and get some semblance of normality back. But I do apologise. In the 21st century, Places like Winterbourne View should not exist. They should be closed and more local services developed. Viewing the footage shown in court this week has been distressing and extremely harrowing for families. The guilty parties were only charged with offences shown on the Panorama programme, and it would be naive to believe that this monstrous behaviour had not been continuing for a very long time. We'd like you to remember that our children have suffered greatly and it will take a long time for their physical and mental scars to heal. There are no words to describe the horrific, vindictive treatment these offenders meted out to the vulnerable adults of Winterbourne View. They and their loved ones should have felt safe and secure in the knowledge that they were being well cared for. Instead, these vulnerable people were subjected to the most extreme and persistent abuse. All hate crime is abhorrent and we will not tolerate it. We will work with our safeguarding partners to address any lingering concerns about incidents that took place at Winterbourne View and leave no stone unturned until we're satisfied the victims and their families see that justice is done.
Every member of society has the right to live free from intimidation and fear, but the offending that took place at Winterbourne View undermined that right in an appalling and systematically brutal way. People who should have been able to trust their carers had that trust cruelly and repeatedly abused. The CPS treated these offences as disability hate crimes, crimes based on ignorance, prejudice and hostility. We brought this aggravating feature to the attention of the court and it was reflected in the sentencing today. All sentenced today to terms of imprisonment, either immediate or suspended. The CPS works closely with the police and other agencies to tackle hate crime and will always prosecute where there's sufficient evidence and it's in the public interest to do so. Today's sentences do send a clear message to those who believe that there will be no consequences for their abuse of disabled people.